Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, white uh, circle with the center P fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle uh, with the center uh, Q. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, C and D are the points of tangency. And moreover, uh, A, B is the diameter of this uh, semicircle. Whereas uh, this segment uh, AC is uh, 15 centimeter long. And furthermore, uh, the area of this white circle has been given to us as uh, 100 times pi centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. This uh, area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating uh, the area of this uh, green shaded region. And now let's make an observation and focus on this equation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region uh, area is going to be equal to the big uh, semicircle area minus the area of the white uh, circle. And now we know that our white circle area has been given to us as 100 pi. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, semi circle. So therefore we are going to assume the radius of this uh, white circle is uh, lowercase r and the radius of this uh, semi circle is uppercase r. So therefore now our task is to find the value of uh, radius lowercase r and the value of this uh, radius uppercase r as well. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi times uh, r square, where lowercase r is the radius of this uh, white circle. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. We know the area of this uh, circle has been given to us as 100 times pi. So therefore we can write uh, pi times uh, lowercase r square equals to 100 uh, times uh, pi and now we can see this pi and pi is gone from both sides and now I'm going to undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides and therefore we can see that our uh, this uh, radius lowercase r value turns out to be equal to positive 10 centimeter. So thus the radius of this uh, white circle turns out to be equal to 10 centimeter. And now in this uh, next step, I'm going to connect uh, this center P with this point of tangency C. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now we can see that this uh, CP is the radius of this uh, white circle and we know the radius is 10. So therefore uh, this radius uh, value turns out to be 10 centimeter. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be a 90 degrees angle. Since this is our radius and this is our tangent line. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect this center Q with this point of tangency D. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall this crucial fact. According to this fact, uh, the centers and the points of uh, tangency are collinear. No wonder these uh, centers uh, P and Q and this point of tangency D lie on the very same line. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, DP is the radius of this uh, white circle and we know the radius is uh, 10. So therefore this DP length is 10. And furthermore, we know that this uh, DQ is the radius of this uh, semicircle and we know the radius is uppercase R. So I'm going to write down uh, this uh, radius uh, uppercase R. So therefore, we can see that this uh, segment uh, PQ length is going to be uppercase R minus 10. So I can write uh, this PQ length uh, as uppercase R minus 10. And furthermore, we can see that this uh, AQ is the radius of this uh, semicircle. So this is going to be uppercase R. And we know this segment uh, AC length uh, is 15. So therefore, uh, this uh, CQ length uh, is going to be 
upper case R minus 15. And now we are going to focus on this right triangle PCQ. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem to solve for radius upper case R. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uppercase R minus 10, whereas our two other legs are R minus 15 and 10. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we are going to write down uppercase R minus 15 whole square plus 10 square is going to be equal to uppercase R minus 10 whole square. And now let's recall this famous identity, A minus B whole square could be written as A square minus 2AB plus B square. And we are going to apply this identity on this binomial and this binomial on the right hand side as well. So therefore we can write uppercase R square minus 30 times R plus 225 plus 100 equals to uppercase r square minus 20 times r plus 100 and now we can see r square and r square that is gone 100 and 100 gone as well and now i'm going to add 30 r on both sides this is gone so therefore this side the right hand side if we subtract that is going to give us 10 times R is going to be equal to 225 and now I'm going to divide both sides by 10 to isolate lowercase r and here we can see this 10 and 10 is gone so therefore our uppercase r radius value simply turns out to be if we reduce this right hand side that's going to give us 45 divided by 2 centimeter so thus our radius uppercase r value turns out to be 45 divided by 2 centimeter and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle and now let's recall once again the area of a circle formula area is equal to pi r square where uppercase r is the radius of this uh, semicircle so therefore our this uh, semicircle uh, area is going to be simply pi divided by 2 times uppercase r square and now we know that our uppercase r value is 45 divided by 2 so i'm going to substitute that value 45 divided by 2 over here so therefore we could write uh, pi divided by 2 times 45 divided by 2 whole square and that is going to give us pi divided by 2 times uh, that is going to give us uh, 20, 25 divided by 4 and if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us 20, 25 times pi divided by 8 centimeter square. So thus the area of this semicircle turns out to be 20, 25 times pi divided by 8 and here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded region. So therefore let's recall this equation once again the green shaded region area equals to the semicircle area minus the area of the white circle and here we can see our semicircle area we already figured out and the white circle area is 100 times pi. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So therefore we can write down our semicircle area is 20, 25 times pi divided by 8 minus uh, the white circle area is 100 uh, times uh, pi and now I'm going to tweak this uh, 100 pi could be written as uh, 800 pi divided by 8 and if we simplify furthermore that is going to give us uh, 12 uh, 25 uh, times uh, pi divided by 8 uh, centimeter square the area of this green shaded region so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the green shaded region turns out to be 1225 pi divided by 8 centimeter square and that's going to be approximately equal to 481.06 centimeter square as well 
And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.